Okay, so today we have four big unboxings. I'm Joey, jjclothingandco.com, and we're going to save the piece de resistance for last. It is the Air Max Cactus Jag 1. So we're gonna start out with the thing that arrived first, logically. So this is a Gore-Tex Air Jordan 1 in the light curry colorway. So I did pick up one of these earlier in the year. The, so they have Gore-Tex panels throughout on the toe box and the side by the swoosh. This is a 3M, 3M swoosh. And you have Nubuck on this orange curry with a silver wings logo. You have black and red on the tongue right there, the Nike logo. That, this is actually so smooth, but I love that new buck material. They, they really killed it on that one. It feels beautiful. But they say that that Gore-Tex material is completely waterproof, which is um, something pretty cool. I don't know if the new buck is going to be waterproof. That doesn't add up to me so much. But you have a white midsole, and then you have a black and light curry on the outsole. Very clean shoe. Uh, when they first came out with the Gore-Texes, I was a little skeptical. I was just like, ooh, is this gonna come out right? Cause you know, I love my leather on, on some Jordan 1s. Speaking of leather on Jordan 1s, we have the Heritage colorway. Which these are nice. I ended up returning a pair cause we doubled up, but these are very, very clean. You got the black, red, and white black wings logo, red outsole, so it's gonna be nice and easy to keep clean. This is the men's, so it's gonna have that nice, that nice quality leather where nothing's too overstretched. Um, I know that this isn't quite the red that everyone wants. Yeah, it's university red. I guess everyone wants like gym red, but um, it's just, it's very, very similar to Chicago, you know? it's pays tribute to where Jordan is from, hence the heritage colorway. And got the red bottoms. Next we're gonna move on to the Salehi. The Crocs got the urchin colorway. So I'm just gonna do a quick little look at these. Okay. That is really different. I've yet to get any of these Salady Crocs in person, so now even then I didn't get them. Ariel, our camera woman, my fiance, is the one who scored on these. These look um pretty crazy. So you have the canvas strap in the back. It says Crocs and Salehi Benberry on the back. You have like a fingerprint type of upper throughout. That look definitely looks like a fingerprint on the outsole. This little gray area, I'm not really sure what that's for. I have never owned a pair of Crocs. I'm, yeah, to be honest, I think most Crocs are ugly, but these are a very unique pair of Crocs and I like what Salehi did with it. If you don't know who Salehi is, he is the creative director for Versace Men. And he definitely brought that high-end designer look to an otherwise lackluster brand, if you ask me. Shots fired. But I like this light purple. This light purple it goes throughout. You can see it on the strap and throughout the shoe, and it looks really nice. But you see a lot more holes than in the picture. Like, I'm definitely actually picking up on the Crocs vibe. Yeah, I'm not really sure what these are for, to tell you the truth. Um, going through tide pools. The That's sand. About it. That's about it. Um, oh, Florida. If you live in Florida, that whole place is a swamp. No, I'm just kidding. No, not all of Florida is just swamp. Just most of it. Alright, and the piece de resistance. The Cactus Jack Air Max 1. The one that we all thought that... <laughs> that Jacques Q might actually get cancelled for. 
Well, not for the shoe so much as the concert that released, just, you know, while the shoe got released. So you have a backward swoosh right there. And the Air Max unit is actually not see-through, which is really trippy. We have mesh throughout, which is a little bit, it's not too far from a normal Air Max. Just give it some context. Um, This is a little bit different right here. So they kind of like removed this outer panel, especially on the outside. It's kind of gone there. Yeah, that's 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 really different. You have okay, like a textile type of weave that goes throughout from the back to the top. Bright red laces. What would they call them? There's... It's baroque brown, lemon drop wheat, brune baroque and bouté de citron again with the with the french they're popping out the french over at nike did but, you notice that texture on the swoosh oh feel it it's, wow that almost feels like wow it feels like tiny like little square pixels yeah which is very strange you have cactus cactus corporation on the outsole which is a nice little touch a little bit different Okay, you got like some some branches like going through. Just this is like a normal design. This is trippy on the outsole. It's definitely gonna leave a very unique print. But I like this little flag right here. It says Cactus Jack on the back, and the other side it says Nike. This is a very clean shoe. The quality control was good on these, and I'm happy that they actually came out because we were all worried that. You know, Travis got cancelled, Jacques Q got cancelled. But they did end up dropping. This is the only colorway that I did hit on. I definitely went for the air trainers. I've never had a pair of air trainers. If you if you know if those are comfortable, comment down below. Tell me, because I like training at the gym and I I wanna know. I wanna know what they do on those is. But I also liked the yellow Saturn colorway, but this 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 was the colorway to go for if you ask me. This was the better colorway. I know Jock Hugh really obsesses over brown, and admittingly, that kind of made me upset at the beginning. But it has slowly grown on me, and I did go through a phase back in like seventh grade where I was like way too into brown, and then I ended up getting rid of it all because, let's just face it, brown is um, is is the color of poop. It's the color of poop. It's the color of poop. But when done right. It is definitely, it creates a nice, beautiful shoe. And I actually really like this. I recently tried on a pair of Air Maxes for the first time. Very comfortable. A little narrower than I'm used to. Definitely narrower than some basketball shoes. But overall, a very good walking shoe. And that's, that's tight because I love to walk. And you should love walking too. Love your body. Your body is a temple. On that bombshell. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. GGClothingCo.com Watch my videos and our cat will be in the mall next time. Bye!